Fíjense, Mateo 28, por favor. In verse 16, I'll, I'll read through the end of the chapter and then have uh, then Pastor Jorge will read in Spanish. It says, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Versículo 16 del capítulo 28 de Mateo dice, Los once discípulos fueron a Galilea, a la montaña que Jesús les había indicado. Cuando lo vieron, lo adoraron, pero algunos dudaban. Jesús se acercó entonces a ellos y les dijo, Se me ha dado toda autoridad en el cielo y en la tierra. Por tanto, vayan y hagan discípulos de todas las naciones, bautizándolos en el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo, enseñándoles que a obedecer todo lo que les he mandado a ustedes, y les aseguro que estaré con ustedes siempre hasta el fin del mundo. Let's pray. Oremos. Father, we would ask that you would, by your grace, pour your spirit out upon your people, even this evening. Señor, oramos que con tu Santo Espíritu, tu gracia seas con todas las personas aquí esta noche. And may we hear from you and not from the preacher. Señor, eh, queremos escucharte a ti, no al predicador. Again, have your way make us attentive to your presence here. Señor, otra vez pedimos que tu presencia esté aquí en esta noche. And we will be careful to give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Te daremos la honra y la gloria a ti en el nombre de Jesús. I, I wanted to share this passage with you tonight. Uh, Pastor Jorge and I met yesterday when we were when we were talking, and and some things that God has been stirring on my heart and some others as well. Quiero hablar compartir este pasaje porque ayer que me reuní con el pastor Jorge que tuvo una reunión con él, el Espíritu Santo ha estado moviendo algo aquí dentro de mi corazón. So in, in this passage of scripture, as we open up, we see Jesus meeting with his eleven disciples. He's ready to ascend into heaven. Aquí lo que prácticamente vemos a Jesús reuniéndose con sus discípulos antes de él ascender a los cielos. And, and they had been with him for, for a while after his resurrection. Y ellos ya han estado un rato con él después de su resurrección. And Jesus said, I'm about to give you the mission, what I want you to be about until I come back. Y Jesús prácticamente le está diciendo, estoy ya a, a punto de darle la misión que ustedes tienen que realizar hasta antes de yo ascender y hasta que yo vuelva. And then he, he reminds them quickly of three things that I want to share with you tonight. Y les recuerda acerca de tres cosas que quiero compartir con ustedes en esta noche. In verse 18 he says to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. En el versículo 18, Jesús eh, les dijo, toda potestad me es dada en el cielo y en la tierra. Jesus has authority over all things and over everyone on the face of the earth. Eh, eh, Jesús tiene toda la autoridad y también la autoridad sobre todas las cosas que están en la tierra. He has lordship over everything in creation. Él tiene señorío sobre todo lo que está en la creación. Jesus Christ has all authority. En Jesucristo tiene toda autoridad. He has all power. Él es todo poder. And he reminds his disciples that really the issue that they're talking about here is will they submit to his authority? Y la pregunta aquí en verdad es si ellos se van a someter a su autoridad. Will they allow Jesus to be the master of their lives? Van a dejar ellos a Jesús ser el maestro de sus vidas. And you know, to, to be a disciple, the word literally means to be a follower. Y la palabra discípulo prácticamente significa ser un seguidor. And if we are followers of Jesus, then he has authority over us. Si nosotros somos seguidores de Jesucristo, quiere decir que él tiene autoridad sobre nosotros. The scripture tells us that we have been bought with a price. El, la Biblia dice que nosotros hemos sido comprados por un precio. And 
that price was the blood of Christ himself. Therefore, we are not our own, but we belong to Jesus. So he says to his disciples, I have all authority. Yo tengo toda la autoridad. And as we are following him, we are, we are reminded that even some of his disciples had doubts, even as he's speaking to them. Y como seguidores de él, ellos se nos recuerda que algunos de los discípulos incluso tenían dudas de él. They had seen the man crucified and risen from the dead. They had walked with him for 40 days after this, and yet they had doubts. E incluso 40 días después de la muerte y resurrección todavía tenían dudas. But Jesus gave them the task to go even with their doubts. E incluso aún con las dudas que ellos tenían, Jesús aún así los mandó a ser discípulos. So Jesus doesn't expect us to have it all together. Jesús no pretende que nosotros eh, llenemos todos los requisitos. We may have doubts at times. We may have fears. We may have questions. Es posible que tengamos preguntas, miedos, temores. But as a follower of Jesus, it is not an option to be submissive to His authority. Ahora, pero como seguidores de Jesucristo, no hay una opción a no someternos a la autoridad de Jesucristo. It's possible to have questions and still submit. Ahora, los discípulos pueden tener preguntas interrogantes, pero todavía se sometían al Señor de Cristo. It's a question of trust, isn't it? Es un asunto de confianza. Jesus said, I have all authority, so this is what I want you to be about. Jesús dijo, yo tengo toda la autoridad y esto es lo que yo, yo quiero que ustedes hagan. And it's, a, it's also important for us to know that, that submitting to the authority of Christ is an act of love. Ahora, someternos a la autoridad de Cristo es un acto de amor. We don't submit to Jesus' authority because we're afraid of punishment. No nos sometemos a la autoridad de Jesucristo porque tenemos miedo de su castigo. He's delivered us from the punishment of sin and death. Él ya nos liberó a nosotros del castigo y de la muerte. He is our Savior, amen? Él es nuestro Salvador, amen? And so we submit to His authority as Lord out of love because He has delivered us. Ahora nos sometemos a su señorío porque nos ha liberado y nos sometemos a él en amor. Jesus even says in the scriptures, don't tell me you love me if you don't keep my commandments. Eso incluso digo, dice en la palabra, no me digan que ustedes me aman si no guardan mis mandamientos. So he reminds the, his disciples as he's ready to go back to heaven to ascend to the Father, I have all authority. Y le recuerda a sus discípulos antes de subir al Padre, recuerden que yo soy toda autoridad. And the second thing he then tells them is because I have all authority. Y la última cosa que la segunda cosa que le dice porque yo 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 tengo toda la autoridad. That I give you the task to go to all the world and to proclaim that they should be disciples in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Y como yo tengo toda la autoridad entonces los envío a ustedes a ser discípulos en todo el mundo y bautizándolos en el nombre del Padre del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. And you and I part of one congregation. Y ustedes y yo somos parte de una congregación. We being God's people, one people. Somos eh, un pueblo. We are obedient. Amen. Estamos en obediencia. We are submitting to the authority of Christ in our lives. Eh, nos estamos sometiendo a la autoridad de Jesucristo. And so we don't have, we don't, we don't sit and have conversations about will we follow, will we not follow. Eh, nuestras conversaciones no son como estas será que lo seguimos o no lo seguimos Pastor and I are not having a debate will we obey or will we not obey eh, <laughs> el, pastor, el pastor y yo no estamos teniendo una conversación si lo obedecemos o no lo obedecemos Jesus said I command you to go make disciples eh, Jesús dijo ya yo los envío a ustedes a ir y a ser discípulos we are his followers we go because he sent us eh, somos sus seguidores tenemos que ir donde, donde él nos envíe and sharing and lives are being touched and the hope of the gospel is being infused into people's lives. Vamos a ir, vamos a compartir el evangelio, el evangelio va a ser parte de la vida de esas personas. Just normal people like us, God is using. Dios está usando gente como nosotros. And so, we go make disciples. Y si vamos, vamos a hacer discípulos. It really is a It really is a lordship issue, isn't it? Es un asunto de, del Señor. 
Jesus has all authority. He says to us, his followers, go make disciples. And empowered with his spirit, we go make disciples. Y es un asunto del Señor Dios Jesucristo cuando Él nos envía a ser discípulos. What's very exciting, Pastor has mentioned that about the, the radio broadcast of this ministry. El pastor estaba mencionando el programa de la radio. Disciples are being made all over the Puget Sound area. Y los discípulos están, se están haciendo discípulos en todo Puget Sound, el área de Puget Sound. Many people you know are having opportunity to meet Jesus for the very first time. Y mucha gente que usted conoce ahora está teniendo oportunidad de conocer a Jesucristo a través de este ministerio por primera vez. And as, as we continue to submit to the authority of Christ, even greater work will be done. Y si continuamos sometiéndonos a la obediencia de Jesucristo, incluso mayores cosas haremos. And the reason we know this is Jesus' final statement to his disciples. Y la razón que sabemos esto es por la declaración final de Jesús aquí. Look at what he says. When he says the final thing, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Eh, Miren lo que él dice y estaré con vosotros hasta el fin del mundo. So Jesus says, I have all authority, and because I have all authority, you, my followers, are going to go. You're going to make disciples, and I will be with you in that endeavor. Eh, en primer lugar, Jesús dice. Pues, yo tengo todo el Señor y toda la autoridad. En segundo lugar, yo los envío y ustedes van a ser discípulos y yo voy a estar con ustedes hasta el fin del mundo. And the best part about that is, Jesus later on, we are told, he says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Y además, eh, contamos con la promesa de que Jesús ha dicho, yo soy el que voy a edificar mi iglesia y la puerta del infierno no prevalecerá contra ella. So the one who has all the authority sends us and goes with us and empowers us with his spirit to accomplish his kingdom purpose. So we don't need to be afraid. No tenemos que tener miedo. We don't need to have it all figured out. No tenemos que tener todas las respuestas. We don't need to wring our hands and wonder, oh, I wonder what I'll say to my friend or my family member. Jesus is with us and he will carry out his work. So the only question is, will we submit to his authority? Will we allow Christ to be the master of our lives? Vamos a en verdad permitir al Señor ser el maestro de nuestras vidas. Now, in theory, in teoría, we all cry out to Christ, Lord, Lord. Todos um, gritamos al Señor, Señor, Señor. But sometimes, algunas veces, in the quiet of our own heart and of our own thinking, en lo más profundo de nuestro corazón y en nuestra mente, We wrestle with giving God full control of our lives. Tenemos que darle el absoluto control al Señor. Amen. 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 We know that Jesus has delivered us from sin and from death. Sabemos que el Señor nos ha liberado del pecado y de la muerte. We know the truth of the word in Philippians chapter 2 that one day every knee will bow and every tongue confess on heaven, on earth, and under the earth that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Sabemos que finalmente toda rodilla se doblará en el cielo y en la tierra y confesará que Jesucristo es el Señor. So the only question is, will we do it now or will we wait till then? La pregunta es, ¿lo vamos, lo vamos a someter ahora o vamos a esperar hasta el final? God helps us do it today. El Señor nos puede ayudar a hacerlo ahora. So tonight, as we come to our time of prayer, la noche cuando vamos a orar, we come with great confidence that our Lord has all authority. Llegamos, nos acercamos en oración con la confianza de que nuestro Señor tiene toda la autoridad. Jesus has all the power. Y tiene todo el poder. The guys in Washington don't have the power. In Washington D.C. no tienen todo el poder. They, they can't even get along. Ellos se entienden entre ellos mismos. And, and, and the devil has no power. He's all, he's all talk. El diablo no tiene todo el poder. Él es solamente bla, bla, bla. And other people around us have no power over us. La gente alrededor nuestro tampoco tiene el poder. Jesus has all power. 
So as we go to prayer tonight, we pray in the name of Jesus, not just in His name, but yielding ourselves to His authority, knowing He is already at work. Ahora esta noche cuando oramos nos sometemos a Él, no solamente eh, oramos en su nombre, sino que sabemos que Él tiene todo el poder. He is allowing us to agree with Him. El God will lead us to accomplish it. Eh, él nos ha permitido estar en acuerdo con Él para que Él realice la obra. So whatever your prayer is, and, and Pastor put out the slips, whether it's prayer for yourself, a prayer for the church, or whatever that happens to be, know that it is being accomplished because Jesus Christ has all the authority and we are in submission and following Him. Ahora, cualquiera sea de esas peticiones que usted puso allí en ese papel, por la iglesia, o por usted mismo, o por su familia, eh, recuerde que se va a realizar porque el Señor tiene toda su autoridad. Amén. Be assured de seguro. that God is working in you and through you. Que Dios está, eh, trabajando con usted y a través de usted. The other thing, it, let me remind us all that sometimes the, the submission to Christ's authority is a, almost a daily decision. Ahora recordemos que someternos a la autoridad de Jesús es un asunto que tenemos que hacer diariamente. Jesus says to us, pick up your cross daily. El Señor dice que eh, tomemos la cruz todos los días. Crucify yourself and follow me. Crucifíquese primero y sígame. So today, hoy, we submit to the authority of Jesus and empowered by His Spirit. Nos sometemos a la autoridad de Jesucristo y con el poder del Espíritu Santo. We lay down our will asking that God Himself would fill us with His Spirit. Y ponemos nuestra voluntad para que el Señor nos llene con su Espíritu. So we go to prayer tonight, victorious, even before we pray. En, incluso entramos a oración esta noche en victoria, aún antes de orar. Yo no puedo aplauso al Señor. Amen. Muy bien. Thank you. So let's, uh, if you still need to 